end of the multi-currency regime in Zimbabwe and the adoption of a mono-currency regime in favor of a domestic currency. Uh, what was happening in the market is that the market was self-US dollarizing. Uh, it was uncontrollable and we felt that we needed to bring the situation under control. Uh, a few days ago, I had a meeting with the Association of uh, Teachers in this country as, as a union, along with uh, His Excellency as well as other ministers. And they made it very clear to us that the multi-currency regime has become a US dollar regime. They don't, have, they don't earn US dollars. They cannot afford to buy things in the shops. They can't pay for medicines and uh, healthcare services where the hospitals and clinics are demanding US dollars. Quite clearly, it became an untenable situation. It became necessary for government to move a lot faster and introduce the monocurrency regime with a domestic currency. The domestic currency obviously comprises our RTGS dollar as before, as well as the, the bond note and bond coins as before. So nothing has changed really in terms of what we're calling domestic currency on this occasion. All that has changed is uh, that the legal, the only legal tender domestically at the moment is now the domestic currency and not foreign currency of the US dollar. What does this mean? It means that anyone who wants to buy uh, you know, goods from the shop, need pay for services within the borders of Zimbabwe, uh, ought to uh, go to a bank, uh, or to change, or some other institution to change their foreign currency into domestic currency and spend that whichever way they, they wish to spend. That's what normal countries do. That's what all countries do. If you go to South Africa, you cannot buy in US dollars in the shops. You go to Zambia, you cannot buy in US dollars in the shops. You go to Mozambique, the same, and the, and the story goes on. So Zimbabwe is joining uh, uh, the nations of the world in this regard by having a domestic currency for domestic uh, transactions. I must hasten to say that those who are going to be paying for airline services in the form of uh, air tickets will still be allowed to pay in foreign currency or in the currency in which the airline wishes you to pay because we are treating that as a foreign payment. Equally, those who are import, importing luxury goods, especially cars, uh, as before, nothing has changed because, in a sense, it's a, it's, a, it's a foreign payment. You're bringing a good into the country. It cannot come in without that payment in the form of import duty. Once again, you pay in the currency in which it was acquired or in foreign currency. So nothing, nothing changes in this regard. You know, the, the march towards full uh, 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 currency reform is part of our transitional stabilization program, which was our blueprint uh, uh, reform agenda. Uh, uh, this move is, given, is, is really beginning to restore full monetary <coughs> policy and we give our central bank, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, uh, you know, uh, flexibility in conducting monetary policy. Uh, uh, you should expect uh, you know, a package or a raft of measures to come out of the central bank uh, going forward, all designed to support the value of the currency. Now we can afford to have an interest rate policy uh, going forward where interest rates can fluctuate up and down, uh, uh, unlike in, in, in the past. We can also expect the creation uh, of, you know, of a monetary policy committee to, to as a part of the micro institutions that uh, go towards stabilizing the value of our, of our currency. Uh, we, we expect a better targeting of monetary balances in the form of high-powered money, which we've actually said, already pronounced, that's what we want to do going forward as an approach to monetary, uh, monetary policy. If I can go back a little to the US dollar regime that began in 2209, we found out that um, basically during that this, this time, the the, during the US dollar regime uh, uh, period, the current account ballooned to as much as, as high as 14% of GDP. Why? When you've got a strong currency like the US dollar, 
the propensity to the propensity to import increases. The demand for imports goes up. At the same time, US dollar is not good for competitiveness. It can stabilize prices for sure, but it's not good for competitiveness. And you end up deindustrializing because industry just cannot compete. Most people don't realize that what had say what saved industry was really the, the ban on certain imports, mainly from the region. That's what saved industry uh, within an environment of the use of the US dollar. But that also that is also slightly abnormal, but, but that, that's, that's what happened. So this move in adopting a formal domestic currency as the sole legal tender within our borders, uh, it gets Zimbabwe closer to normalcy, uh, if not restoration of, of normalcy. I want to be clear on the, uh, uh, the holding or possession of the US dollars. Uh, if, you, if you have US dollars in, in your person, on your person, rather, um, uh, in the bank account, in a, in a foreign currency account, Nostra account, it's your money, you can keep it there, do whatever you like with it. Except that if you want to go in, into a shop uh, within Zimbabwe, you have to change it into domestic currency and then be able to, uh, to, to transact. Um, there's another reason why perhaps it's important for us to, to do what we did. There are a lot of ordinary people in the rural areas uh, who are <coughs> suffering under the weight of who they're looking at the impact of the cyclone, uh, the impact of the drought, uh, the reform agenda itself, uh, high inflation and so forth. And, and clearly there's been a, a call from them to say, look, uh, we cannot afford this self-US uh, uh, self dollarizing economy. What we need is our own currency. And also the currency is a source of pride a source of identity uh, so it's very important for us to make this progress and we've made that step uh, we think that certainly this is the way to go it is the right direction uh, i thank you Thanks. on average the more open the country the better the systems of governance the better the system 